Hi guys, in today's video we're just going to show you how you can reset um, how much water comes out when you make an espresso coffee out of, this is a, an espresso settees machine. Uh, why might you want to do this? Well you might want to make a shorter coffee like a ristretto, 25ml instead of a 40ml espresso coffee. So you might need to reset this button, the, the espresso one, and that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to show you how to do that. But you might also want to do it on your Lungo coffee. Uh, the reason you, you might want it a bit more intense, you might want to shorten it up just a little bit, or you might want to make it a bit longer to maybe like one of the more intense capsules. You might want to try and stretch it a bit further to make it an Americano. Um, so there's many reasons why you might want to do this, but it's a nifty little trick. So I'm just going to show you how you can do it now. The first thing we do is this espresso button. I'm just going to run it through first time just to show you that it comes out the normal 40ml espresso coffee amount. I've already got it going this time so you don't have to watch the lights come on and waste time. But as you see it's coming through nicely. And there we have a 40ml espresso coffee. So I'll just pop this one down here and we can see the difference in the second one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset the amount of how much coffee will come out each time you do it. And you do this by holding down the espresso button to the desired amount. Now obviously if you were wanting 25ml you'll need to use a measuring jug or something to get exactly 25ml but for the purpose of this video and the demonstration I'm just going to do it to say 10ml roughly just to show you how to do it. So I'm going to hold this down for a little bit now, commit the cardinal sin, saying I'm going to use the same Nespresso capsule even though I would never do that because it tastes horrible when you do that. But this is only a demonstration. I didn't want to use just water because I thought you might not see it properly. Um, so let's give this a go. I'll just hold it down enough to get maybe 10 mil out of it or something. Right, so I'll stop it there. You can see there's a lot less coffee in that espresso cup. I'll put it down next to this one just to show you how much difference there is in the amount of coffee. So it's a lot less in this cup than that one. But now, the nifty thing we've done, by holding this button down to the desired amount, when I press it a second time now, it should come out exactly the same as the last one. There. See, that's not a full 40ml espresso. That's exactly what we've just done. Exactly the same. And you can see that there. So there you can, that's how you make a different amount come out of your espresso machine. But you might be thinking, well, hold up a second. I've changed it now. I don't want to have the faff about measuring out another 40ml to get it back to its default settings again. Well, there's a nifty way around that. Firstly, we need to turn off the machine and we do that by holding down both the cup buttons until the lights go off. As you can see they've gone off. The next thing we do is we hold the Lungo button, the big cup button, for five seconds until the lights come back on. And that has now been reset to its original default settings. So when the lights stop flashing and we pour the cup through again it should come out exactly like our first cup as a 40ml espresso. But don't forget you can do this with Lungos too, it's not just with espresso. So I'll just press that now. And you can see the difference how much it's going to 40ml now, isn't it? And hey presto, we're back to our uh, original settings. So I hope that that little video will just show you how to reset the cup amount on your Nespresso machine. You might want to do it for various reasons and I hope that you've just found that useful.